following the vlog I did, was it yesterday, where I showed Sandra with, um, talking about our washing and she puts away my socks and things like that. Is it just a man thing or is it just me? But why do I always have one lost sock? Like, where, where do socks go? You put them in the washing machine in pairs. And for some reason, virtually every time I do a wash, I come out with a sock left over. And the other sock has like disappeared into this gobbly um, washing machine. Yeah, weird. Um, we're on Thursday, so I've had a little... Oh, I've got cobwebs everywhere inside. I've got a cobweb. A uh, little bit of a late start this morning. Hello, Russia. Do you want to come behind me? Um, <sighs> yes, I know. So Russia, Russia is due out for a walk. Um, which we're going to do in a moment, aren't we, Rash? Oh, she's more interested in her, uh, dog treats. And I need to um, do the dog bin because it's bin emptying day today and our bins are right full. They're really, really, really full. So I need to go and empty the dog bin, um, get that ready, get the bins ready and start my usual. And we didn't have any rain yesterday, which was um, surprising because we were promised rain. So I am going to get the hose pipe out and I'm going to do alongside where my van is, where the pod is. I've got four pitches there, which I'm going to go and do. But I think Russia is keen. I think she's very keen to go for a to go for a walk. So let's give her a walk first. Yeah. So I'm going to get the hose pipe and give this a a good hosing down. And the ladies who came yesterday haven't got a connector for um for a tap. So you always carry. If I get it out, hang on a minute. Yeah. Whatever you do, make sure you carry a tap connector. Um, and that sort of goes into one of those to click onto the um, onto the pipes. And anyway, I was going to say that over, open up, and, and so the bins are very full today. Uh, I've got about another half an hour uh, to an hour before the bin man comes. All right, let's crack on with uh, doing these bits and bobs, and then go on into the dog bin. All right, so I've got the ladies' um, water issue sorted out. So it was just the um, connector that they were missing. That's um, all sorted. I've got uh, a Citroen 2CV classic car here and a dandy um, which I'll get permission later to have a proper look about there. So if you're watching this and you've ever thought about getting a trailer tent um, the dandy uh, or the Riva dandy is the one to go for. We've we we had one for years we went through all the models a dandy 4, a dandy uh, 6, a dandy 6 low side, a high side and um, yeah, the Dandy Trailer Tent revolutionised our shopping, our shopping, our camping. So that blue and white trailer tent is the Dandy. All right, let's go and put the uh, contents of the bin into the big bin and pull the big bins out ready for the big, big bin man who's coming from Biffa. So I'm just going to give the back of the pod a good hosing. Um, the grass is sort of looking worse for wear. So we'll get some water on there because we say we were promised some um, some rain which hasn't materialised. And I've got in just over a week's time somebody somebody who's a fairly well known YouTuber coming to stay here for a couple of nights in the pod. And by coincidence, I've got somebody, another well-known YouTuber in a motorhome is coming to stay on the site and they actually clash over. So that person has asked for some photographs of the pod today. Uh, so if you're a Twitter user, you may see some, some clues to who I'm referring to. That's all I'll say at this stage. Uh, and all being well, when they come, because there's a bit of a coincidence with the stage, I wonder if they're gonna be game for a scale electric race. I should have said we've actually got somebody in the pod tonight for two nights Thursday Friday night and then somebody in then Saturday night Sunday night so um yeah pods all ready to go and then we had a recent guest saying it who come up with an idea so we need some um coat hooks in it for um hanging coats so they're ordered on Amazon and um all being well I'll get them fitted in the next day or so Yeah, 
all hosed down, uh, so these bins are really full. I'm just going to give the uh, bin area now, the slabs where the bins sit on, uh, give that a sweep. Uh, so it looks a little bit tidier. So let me, let me let me grab my brush. Right, I've got 15 minutes before the facility clean. Um, so let me show you the tent pitches that I've been watering over the last uh, few days. So if you remember, we had three of them where the grass had all gone yellow and um, decommissioned one for a few days. And then we've been giving them a good watering. Uh, but let's go and see how, much, uh, how, how well they've recovered. You'll be surprised. So if you remember, this pitch was bright yellow and that's uh, completely healed. The one where the dandy is, Reba Dandy, that's all healed. These are coming off shortly, so that's going to um, be needing a really good watering and check over. And this one's really healed now. Um, and then the pitches we've got coming on uh, today, um, all the hard standing. They can see empty now, um, they're all going to be full. Right, so this morning's duties are all done. Uh, Wendy's had a few in for breakfast, haven't you, Wendy? I have. Yep, so um, that's gone okay. Uh, the guy in the dandy that I've mentioned, um, he wants to go and have a look in the pod, so I'm going to go and give him a, a little look in there. And all being well, he'll let me film him. And also, today is um, my first anniversary since I set this channel up. So up here, and I'll put a link over here, there if i remember um i'll link to my own personal channel but basically uh, a year ago i was thinking um to keep the campsite warden side of me completely separate to my own personal uh, channel but you're free to go over there and you'll find it's a right mist massive of, of of all sorts on there it's, it's quite it's quite messy but go and have a look at some of the playlists on there because there's um holidays we've taken there's videos from cornwall in a playlist there's surfing and um walks and things like that so as i say that's my own personal channel but yeah so it's happy anniversary to the campsite warden channel right let's go and see this geezer um in the dandy and then think about grabbing a grabbing a butty <laughs> so you maybe remember early in the year if you've been watching this we had a pigeon uh, nesting up in the shed uh unfortunately the chick never actually made uh, made it so this morning I've been watching a uh, pigeon in and out of this tree, um, bringing in sticks, so obviously it's still nesting. And one of the reasons why you shouldn't be chopping down trees and things is because birds, I'm gonna go very slowly and very, very quietly here, but look carefully. Hi hey, pigeon. And there's a pigeon on eggs. So that's 17 days incubation. Um, so we could have we could have baby soon but yeah that's um yeah she's sat on eggs and that's why if you see people now on campsites brutally flipping hedge cutting and things they should be uh they should be mindful that you shouldn't be really be doing that until um until august so um i'm just with mick um so early on i mentioned about the uh, the dandy um so the company that made these trailer tents uh, used to be called Dandy and now they're called Reva Dandy. And the guy um, that still maintains them, Ian, um, started off as basically a tea boy at, uh, at Dandy um, Campers. And Ian um, over sort of Wigan Way, um, he still sells uh, the dandies, he's got all spares and he's a massive fountain of knowledge. The fantastic thing with the Dandy trailer tent, as I say, we've had loads of these and I still run, um, I've actually still got a website with an old forum as well as a, a Facebook group for Dandy owners. Once you've got the hang of them, they're up in 15 minutes, they're down in 15 minutes, and you can put these away wet because they're like it's like a PVC material. And um, I'm just gonna have a nosy in, it's okay. Yourself, <laughs> Cheer, cheers yourself. Mick, and we'll have a look, look at Mick's, uh, Mick's car. So this has got the dandy awning up um, at the moment. So this is like a PVC awning. As I say, it's great because you, you, there's no uh, canvas to come down. And they fold up tiny, tiny, tiny into a, a small trailer. But when you, uh, when you unfold them, look at this. You've got double bed, either a settee or another double bed. You've got a seating area, you've got cooker and drawers. Um, and looking at this, yeah, and this one is insulated as well. So it's got a, it's like a double skin. It's, this has got like an insulation on it. 
and the other weird thing with the dandies um, which I don't know, I don't know whether you know this or not, Mick. Um, is because the the roofs are white, and when they're insulated in the summer, it helps keep the sun out, and in winter, it helps keep the um, helps keeps the heat in. So, I have got dozens and dozens and dozens of videos of me um, talking about dandies over the years, and I used to put on rallies and club meets, and uh, we had some some, some amazing time. And says my children have grown up, they will always go on about the dandy. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me Mick, about your car because you've got this old uh, two CV Citroen two CV. So Mick was just showing me the engine. But said, how have you ended up with a Citroen and a dandy? Just explain the story. Well, we can start the tale with the Citroen 2CV. There's a very, very good reason why you don't go on eBay when you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> because you all make these wonderful ideas and you have these plans. So this one was allegedly loving restored, but all the welding, I think, was done by Stevie Wonder. Um, what I should have done was sell it straight back away, but I didn't. I started repairing it and eight years later, I think I still am. Um, <laughs> It's a brilliant car, they're great fun, they are what they are. Um, I fitted a tow bar earlier in the year, um, my latest project, I've just restored a, an old um, Mobilette, 1978 oh, wow. Mobilette moped, and I wanted a trailer for that. Now I've seen the dandies, and I'm aware of the small uh, dandy, mine is the Dart, which is the smallest in the range, and I know the 2CV would pull one. I found it for sale and I just couldn't resist it. It's, and to be honest, it's one of the best things I've ever bought. I absolutely love it. Um, you're saying about the forum and your Facebook mm. site, I am actually on both of right. them, so you'll find me <laughs> somewhere. Um, 2CV, so I've done a lot of work, a lot of welding and one thing and another. And that is my car. I use that every day. I don't have another car. I have motorbikes for, for, should we say, the more sensible <laughs> things in life. I am going to grow up eventually. No, never, never do that. Uh, never ever do that. L let me just give a quick run around with this uh, two CV here because we've just we're, we were just looking at the simplicity of the engine and how the wings and everything just unbolts off it. So um, those. Uh, are you a petrol head if you own one of these? I suppose you are, isn't it? Yeah, if you're a petrol head, you, you own a 2CV. But look at look at this, it's absolutely... Isn't she, isn't she absolutely beautiful? Look, look, even the luggage rack on the back of it, absolutely, just the, the sunroof and everything. It's just absolutely amazing. So when I was younger, um, my brother, um, who sadly is no longer with us, uh, married a French girl, uh, Francois. And we spent a lot of time in France. And my mem oh sorry, yeah, we haven't got let's go and have a look inside. So yeah, yeah, have a look inside. So so it's got the flip manual up window with these are um look at look at this. No windy wiper, windy winders. And then sorry, look at the simplicity inside here. Oh, it's just <laughs> I'm sorry about the state of everybody. Uh, <laughs> oh it's, isn't that just amazing? But no, as I say, we, we used to go to France and um, so one of the, my, my biggest memories of, the, of a Citroen was uh, there was a guy called Mark um, who had one and the floor um, was on rotten, it. you could actually see the road underneath and if my memory serves me correctly, at that point of time in France they didn't used to have MOTs as such like we used to have in this country. Um, so this car was an absolute death trap and if you've ever been in a 2CV, the su suspension is just... I mean, it's like being on a boat, isn't it? Yes, it uh, is, yeah. And then we used to go, I'm sorry, vegans, if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, don't put, just, just forward wine, because I'm going to tell a story about rabbits and eating them. Um, yeah, so, so here's, here's the meat option story. So in France, the, the rural areas, they used to go out doing what was called rabbiting. And they had a couple of massive spotlights on the front of these. And um, when the full moon was out, they would go out looking for rabbits and they would catch them in the, in the spotlight and the rabbits would freeze. And then there was a knack to uh, running the rabbits over without actually squashing them, but killing them. And then going back home with a, a basically with a boot full of 
Fresh, fresh rabbit to eat uh, for rabbit stew. And to be honest, I've not really. Have you eaten some rabbit? I'm, no, I'm have, not really. Yes. I didn't. I, it's, I didn't particularly like the rabbit meat. But um, yeah, but that's uh, that's a true story. But I'm going to go and show Mick um, the pod because I have got something going to be checking in there in the next hour or so. So we're going to go and uh, have a quick look over and show you the pod if you like. That'll be lovely. Thank right. you very much. So thanks, Mick, for um, for joining us. And as I say, I've got um, a motorhome at the back on pitch number three um, here from um, YouTube. Dan and Mazzy, they're on pitch three, your old pitch. And the ladies in the car and the motorhome behind me, as I say, they're uh, uh, via somebody else via YouTube as well. So, um, you know, I may get a new subscriber to my channel here. <laughs> come, and have well look, come, and, come and have a look at the uh, come and have a look at the pod. Okay, so that's today's first couple of check-ins all checked in uh, with us. I've got, I think it's three still to come, including one staying in the pod. Um, so I'm not too sure how long they're going to be. Um, all the bits and bobs I've been needed to do today are pretty well done. Everywhere is all nice and tidy. Uh, really unusual. As I say, Tuesday is normally a big mow day, and it's been a, a no a no mow day um, today. Right, I'm going to go and lock up um, the shed, and then he's put a couple of tools away, and wrap this video up, basically. So um, if you're new here, brilliant to find the channel. If you've not already done so, you can subscribe down to my channel down there below. Just go and hit that little... Um, subscribe icon there i think it's a picture on it and uh, you can ding the bell if you want notification when i upload a video and remember guys life is terribly terribly short um don't let your fear stand in the way of your dreams and i'll see you you on the next one